someone who's as healthy to me as a bowl of Cheerios, the fabulous Kara Kinnear. She's up now with stories worth caring about. Hello. Didn't you grow up eating Cheerios? Sure. I did. Oh. <laughs> did you not? <laughs> I, well, I wasn't allowed to have, like, I had an, um... <laughs> Kara, Cheerios, the original had like, I know. was boring and had no sugar. We, I know, but we now had. Now they've got the, you know, honey You know nut. what we had? Crackling oat bran. <gasps> it was the only cereal we had and it ripped up the insides of your it mouth. It did, it was but like, it was so, so, it had a little hint so of brown good. sugar. It did have a hint of brown sugar though. <laughs> a little bit. No, I'll up, I'll up you there. You know okay. what my mom used to like? What? Grape nuts. Ooh, that was, we had that too sometimes. What? Grape yes, nuts? Yes, it was like bird food. Yes. <laughs> no offense it, to grape no, nuts. No offense. Yeah, good I'm thing sure it's good for, for you. <laughs> um, it is very good for yes. you. But remember how, God, that would break your teeth? Yeah. I'm, yes. Well, but it felt like. So my mom would make like on a special day, we would have cream of wheat. Yeah. Mm. I guess. Yeah, it was well, good. And mm -hmm. you felt like you had like a nine course meal. Right, right. so thick. Well, that's so why you get ready to go to school and you're like, like I'm good. Nap. <laughs> They're like, what's wrong with Kara? So She's always asleep in her first class. Yes. So uh, it was, All right, speaking it was. of, oh, what, what are we talking speaking about today? Classes. Speaking of class. So our kids start school next Wednesday. It's insane. It's insane. Yes. And so if you're watching, what should I be doing? I'm not sure because my son's going into kindergarten. I'm so excited for And I'm him. excited too, but I we have popsicles on the playground tomorrow, so see you there if you're going. Um, Ali goes, what time is that? I was like 9.30. He's like, popsicles at 9.30? <laughs> I was like... I don't know, You're it's like, fun. Yeah, you just roll with it. Party, I don't know, kindergarten. Yes. Yeah, I forgot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think they're doing something like that for ours. So, I don't it's know, we got new shoes, we did that. Um, he has a backpack, and buy him a new backpack, but. Yeah, we just, um, I, Kate ordered her backpack on Amazon with one click. <laughs> Yeah, yes, she's that sneaky. Is dangerous. It is so dangerous. Yeah, I have to do something because all of a sudden it was like arriving right. today, and I was like, "Well, that is cute. What is that?" Yeah, right. thanks, one click. Yeah, at least she's just ordering school supplies. That's so <laughs> responsible. What if she was like ordering like hair extensions or something? Or like, no, right, no. like our cl clothes yes. even. Right. No, right. but Carolina has picked hers out. So yeah, it is crazy. So we got to get in that back to school mm. yes. mode, um, which can be tough. It can be tough. There was so there was this article and. We'll put the website online. I think it was, it, but it was a really, I'd never heard of the website. It was a really good informational website about preparing yourself and your children for school. Um, and they said the number one thing that parents are most worried about is their children being unmotivated to go back. 100%. Because you come off school, or you come off summer and everybody's having fun. There's no real schedule or routine. Right. And then you got to all of a sudden get back into school mode. Right, and I think it, it doesn't help mm -hmm. if you have children in attending public school mm -hmm. who are going back and the private school maybe might be another two oh, right. weeks out. So that's really hard yes. too because they're thinking, oh, my friends are all at the pool or, right. you know, till 8.30 at night. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, it's just, it's tricky with the... It is. The, and, and you're right. I mean, my kids are like, what? Yeah. This is really happening? I'm like, yeah, right. sorry. Yeah, it yeah. is. I just got a glimpse of myself on the monitor. I, do I look like I work at the zoo? <laughs> I kind of do. I look like I'm wearing the Zoo Atlanta uniform. You know, this you is don't. what they it's wear. It's so cute. Oh my gosh, it is <laughs> kind of what <laughs> she is. wears. I guess Trent is agreeing with, with you. It. I'm fine with it. I think it. you look adorable. Um, thank you. Um, okay, but let's get back to that. Was off topic. <laughs> okay, sorry. This next one is paying attention and behaving in class, which they gave some helpful tips too that parents are obviously worried about. If their kid maybe had a disciplinary action taken on them the previous year, then going into the year you have a little trepidation because you're like, I just want. Billy to behave. I hope Billy behaves. Right. So they said to treat it like you're a coach this year, right? So there will be consequences. If you do not get through the day performing on your team, right. then you'll be in trouble when you get home and to work with the teacher and to have a plan going in right. if you feel like there'll be some behavioral problems. Right. Well, you know, I always, I mean, I, I take that all the behavior um, on the report card, uh -huh. all the behavior classifications, just as important as their actual grades. Right. Because even you know, with my kids, if they're suffering in reading, but I'll look and things are pretty excellent, you know, with an occasional satisfactory. But I, so I know that they're really trying, yes. at trying to apply themselves, and we we know that there's a gap somewhere. But if you know, you see that there. <laughs> No, no. Do I look I'm like sorry, a I just had a memory what? because when you said that that was just as important as the rest of their grades, 
I would like slay class, like all A's, and then I would get a C minus in conduct. Yeah. So my mom had to come no in. No surprise here, people. My mom had to come in and monitor <gasps> my class in third grade because I got in trouble so much because I threw stuff out the window of the classroom. <laughs> yeah. Got really, yeah. Yeah, and then my friend, my best friend Cynthia had this troll village in her desk. Like she took all her books out. I remember when trolls were so popular? And I, I put my hand in there and ruined all, the, <laughs> ruined all the trolls. And your mother had observed. Yeah, she had to come in because I was in so much trouble. But anyway, that's. And I'm here she is today <laughs> yes. with a yeah. job on TV. Yeah, see? Making us all laugh. Nowhere else for me to go. Class class. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't even get that in class. Um, but uh, see, this next one I want to get to too because. Um, I'm worried how I'm gonna get this done. Like, how am I gonna get James out of bed in the morning? He's been going to bed so late. We've been trying to get him to bed yeah. early, but now he gets out like multiple times during the night, says he can't sleep. Right, so what did they recommend? Because we're gonna have the same issues. Well, they say to just start walking it back every night, but That's, I can't even get him in bed. Well, we've got to. So there with my mom, okay. and the good thing is, Nani is a stickler. Ooh. So no, I've been letting him it's stay genius. up to like 10, but genius. now she'll probably, it's probably like 9.30. Drop it to nine and keep keep dropping it. Okay. Till it's their bedtime. Yeah, oh, you should have. <laughs> Nani would have loved it. Yeah.